What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Esperance, back at it again with another episode of Keep It Tiny. As you guys can see, the tiny A-frame cabin I bought off of the internet for a little more than $21,000 is here. So let's dive straight into it. So far, I'm really happy with what I got. All of the material looks solid and high grade, and I can see all of the pre-drilled holes, slots, and rivets on where one piece will connect to another. A quick recap, this is a $21,000 prefab tiny A-frame cabin kit. Sounds crazy? Well, yeah, it kind of is. This cabin is about 115 square feet and made from a small upstart company called Den Outdoors. So far, I still feel like this decision to purchase this cabin was smart and not dumb. But you let me know your thoughts in the comments below on whether this was a good idea or not. Back to the delivery. My cabin basically arrived in the mail. As you can see, there are hundreds of pieces of material here, all laser cut to the exact dimensions to make them fit into place like one big puzzle set. The kit comes with almost everything you'll need. Walls, flooring, doors, windows, even down to the doorknob. That being said, the cabin got here that day, but the windows didn't arrive that day. They arrived about a week after the fact and boy was getting the windows a doozy. I'll get into that in a little bit. Now in the last video I made on the cabin, I'll leave a card to it in the upper right corner and down in the description below to check that out if you haven't seen it already. I said I would get a bunch of buddies to help me unload the cabin. And as you can see, that simply is not the case here. I was lucky enough to finesse my way with the delivery driver and just let me say, this guy was built for tough. I'm probably about 20 years his junior and he didn't miss a beat or need any rest while we were going back and forth and he assisted me on getting the cabin off of the trailer and onto the ground onto my land. I guess they really don't make them like they used to because this really wasn't easy. We spoke about life, where we've been and where we plan on going and buddy, if you ever see this video, just know that combo meant a lot more to me than it did to you and I really enjoyed and appreciated it. The process of unloading everything took about an hour and a half of nonstop back and forth. It wasn't impossible, but it wasn't easy. If I had about two more people, it would have gone much faster. Now, this video is two people going back and forth a relatively small area. I just wanted to get the kit off of the truck so my new best friend could go about his day. The first day of the actual cabin build we will have to take all of this to the area we will actually be building the cabin at. And I can easily say I am not looking forward to that. Back to the windows. I may have been told wrong numbers, or maybe I just made it up, but I was under the impression the window was 250 pounds, but in actuality, what I got was 850 pounds. So with that being said, it was a lot harder to get it off the truck. Unfortunately, I was too busy trying to survive while I was getting it off the truck that I didn't set up the camera and I don't have footage of that, and I really apologize. The windows are Pella windows, which seems to be the industry standard for most modern builds. Pella is a solid company with a high reputation, so if anything were to go wrong, I would feel pretty comfortable and confident having to deal with Pella customer support team. What I would do differently? Well, to get a true successful delivery of your cabin kit, I would say that you need to plan a lot. A lot more than I did. The easiest way to do it is to use a forklift. You will be able to get the kit off of the trailer it came on a lot easier and in a lot less time. Another huge plus is that the pieces of the kit will stay tightly packaged and in order. So it would make installing the kit easier, but also would make storing the kit until it's time to build a lot easier as well. Unfortunately though, this is easier said than done. The exact date of my delivery wasn't guaranteed until a few days prior. I had a delivery window, sure, but there is no rental window on a forklift. You either choose a day to pick up a forklift or not. So with that being said, the most realistic option is to get a bunch of buddies and take it off piece by piece. So again, you would need a lot of more planning, logistics, and coordination to get that done. My first impressions of the cabin kit, well, it seems solid and very thought out. There are a ton of pieces here that I actually have no clue where they go to and what they are. I actually believe that's a plus. 
they did not only think of the aesthetics of the kit, but also the true inner workings and structural integrity of it. The one downside to me is the instructions to put the kit together. It was oddly robust and vague at the same time. The booklet is 40 to 50 pages, with a lot of photos visualizing what needs to happen. It's just seriously lacking on words, as there is only so much a photo can describe. Me personally, I would have much rather a booklet uh, detailing step by step in a lot more description. I have the boys ready to go and I'm extremely excited to put this cabin together. That's the very next video that I'm dropping and I can't wait to show it to everybody. So if you aren't already, please do subscribe to the channel so that way you'll get notified when we actually start building the cabin. You can continue to learn all of my thoughts on Dan Outdoors tiny A-frame cabin kit. Hit the like button and remember to keep it tiny.